Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how pick function is working. Pick function return the value of a field in a table for already loaded row. The syntax of pick function is this. We have seen that previous function is taking only one parameter while pick function is taking three parameter. The first one is the field name and next two row number and table number. These two are optional. So row number means you can mention or you can specify the number of the row number which exactly you want. Here instead of row number you can even use a variable or you can use expression something. But the result of that must be integer. So when we are saying zero that means it's the first row. In click the index of table row is starting from zero instead of one. So zero means first row. 1 means second row, 2 means third row and so on. And if you want to read the row from the bottom, then you can start with minus 1. So that means negative number indicates the row number from the bottom. Minus 1 means the last record, minus 2 means the second last record and so on. If you don't mention any row number, then pick function will automatically or by default consider minus 1 as the row number and the third one is the table name. So if you are not mentioning any table name because this parameter is also optional. So if you are not mentioning any table name then the pick function will consider as the current table as the table name. But if you are using pick function outside of your load table. So say I am loading table A and I am using pick function in table B where I want to get the data of table A. Means in a table B I want to get a data of table A then I have to compulsory mention the table name. Now we will see how pick function is working through examples. We will use the same application. We will use the same data which we have used in our previous function example. Here instead of previous I will mention here pick and I will say pick sales as previous day sales but instead of previous now I will mention here pick day pick day sales and when I load this and when I add this one you will see the same output. So now the question will come if the output is same then what is the difference between pick and previous? So as mentioned in the previous video, pick function is considering the output table while previous function is considering the input table. So what is the difference between input and output table? We will see here. This can be implemented when I will remove all the sales of weekend. Now I am removing sales of weekend and now I am loading the data and we will see that there is a difference between the output. So what is the difference? Let's keep this excel file having data on the right hand side on the right hand side so we can compare it. So first one is a previous function and we know that the first line will be zero for both of this. This second and third means Saturday and Sunday we are ignoring right now we are removing from our load data. So on the 4th of July for the previous function we are getting output for the previous day sales as 130 because 130 is getting even though it is not part of output table but 130 is considered as a input table record. So because of that previous function is using input table record 130 will be coming here as a previous day sales. But for the case of pick, pick will only consider the output, output table. It will not consider the input table. So as per the output table, this data is not a part of our final answer. Means this, this Saturday and Sunday, 2nd and 3rd of July data will not be a part of your output table. So in this case, when we try to get peak sales for 4th of July, it will consider the sales of 1st of July and you will get 120 here. Hope this is clear. 
how peak and previous is working. Previous function is reading everything. Even though we are removing Saturday and Sunday from the final output and it will consider this Saturday and Sunday and give you answer accordingly. But peak function will first remove this. It will only read data from the output. So our output is something like this. So our output is something like this. We will get first line as this and then next few lines we will get this and then next few lines something like this. So pick previous function will use this and peak function will use this. So because of that for 4th of July the previous sales for 4th of July is sales of 1st of July which is 120. So we are getting 120 here. But for the previous function it is 130 even though this is loaded or not loaded. So we are getting output something like this. Hope this is clear. Same as previous function, peak function is also depends on the load order. So if you don't have data loaded as per your required output, means this data from 11 July to 28 July is above the 1st of July to 10th of July, then you have to use the order by close. If you don't know how to use the order by close, then you can see my previous video on previous function. Now, what will happen if I will use here pick sales minus one. So it will still give you the same output. Why? Because when you will not mention the second parameter, click will consider minus one as your default second parameter, means your row number. And the same way, if I will use, here I will use data. And I have to use three here and when I load it, and when I add this one in my current table, I will get the same output because even though you will not mention the table name, click will consider the current table name. So this three will give you the same output. Now I will remove these two and now I will load another table. I will say uh, temp table and I will say load. I will say pick sales as peak day sales to resident of my data table. Now I'm loading this and we'll see what output we are getting. So as soon as you see the data model viewer, you will see that the temp table will give you output as null because when you are not using pick function in the same table and if you are using pick function from different table then you compulsory have to mention row number and your table name means I want sales from the data table and the row number I want is minus one so if I will load now you can see what output I am getting here. I am getting 180. So what is the meaning of 180? So some one will say that okay why we are getting 120, 150, 130 different output here but here we are getting 180 only. So what is the reason behind that? So let's examine our data. So how big function will load? So right now we are loading something like this. Because Saturday and Sunday we are not loading, you can see here we have still ignored Saturday and Sunday. Let me first this comment out where close and then I will load it. We will first understand difference between peak day sales and peak day sales too and then I will load this where close. And the data we have this so everything is getting loaded right now. So when we will get this peak day sales and peak day sales 
2. So, when we will use the pick function in the same load, same table load. So, we have used here pick function in the same table load. So, first it will load this row and then pick day sales will find out using the pick function that what is the last loaded row. So, last loaded row is here null because we don't have any row before this row. But when we will come here, it will be 120 because this, this is the last loaded row for this row. For 3rd of July, the last loaded row is this. So, 40 is the answer for this. You can see, this is how we are getting the answer. And so on. So, here you will get 130, here you will get 150, something like that. But, peak day sales 2, we haven't used in the same table load. It is in the different table load. So, what it will do? It will try to find out from the data table, what is the last loaded row and from the that row, it will give you the sales information. So, if you go here, you have the last loaded row is this and the sales of this is 180. So, because of that, we are getting 180 here. So, it's quite simple. You need to understand how click is loading data and how pick function is taking data. So, in this case, because it is in the same table load, it will consider the previously loaded row and here it is considered the whole table load and it will get the sales from the very last row. So, if I will use 0 here and I will load the data, then sales of very first row which is 1st of July 2022 is 120. So, we will get 120 here. So, hope this is clear how peak and previous function is working. How peak and previous function depends on input and output table load. In the next video, we will see a real time example where we can use peak and previous functions. Till then, thanks and have a great day.